All right, it's time for mission 15, Elfheim. Uh, at first sight it might look a little bit scary. You see there's a town here with a big boss and then there's some enemies and towns around and there's also two uh, mines down here. And uh, But it's not actually that bad. Um, what you want to do, just a recommendation, is to actually go and grab these uh, chests here before uh, you do your actual run, so you just reset after that. Uh, the thing with this whole thing is that it's kind of time limited because these towns will level up and kind of build these armies up here So we want to get there as soon as possible uh, For the same reason, um, we don't need to kill everything actually So don't be like tempted to go for these bushes or the rocks here uh, We just want to get past this line here uh, We also see that these tiles are, uh, are like, these armies are covering a lot of tiles So what we want to do is to start by moving everything up like this there we go, and end the turn. That has to be done manually now, it doesn't end by itself. Which is a good addition, actually. Just waiting for the enemies to do all their turns, there we go. And it's our turn again, we want to take on these guys now. And to do that we will move our um, swordman up like so. And we don't want to move further than that, because then these guys will attack us as well. And um, we also want to move these guys like so, and these guys there. And then we'll end here, and we'll be attacked by these tankers up there. And we'll take them out. And here they come. Losing two units, that's not a problem. And there we go. Now it's our turn again, and uh, the next uh, set of units we want to take out is uh, these guys, and we will do that by moving these uh, up, but not too far up, because you see we have these as well, so we're going to move them here, and uh, be get attacked, as you can see here. We also want to move these in place, like so, and we also uh, want the other set of tankers to be moved here, but not here, because then we will get attacked by the uh, enemies there. Doesn't actually matter because you have uh, have your tankers anyways against these riflemen. It shouldn't be problems. So and there we go. And we're safe. Uh, the next approach we are going to take now is to lure these guys down. And uh, to do that, we are going to move here. Uh, this means we're also going to take out these guys here with the tanker team. So simply move there and we also move here and then we can move these guys up here. And uh, the princess team which has the um, the swordmen is going to be the ones to actually kill the boss. We will sacrifice the other two teams so we can get past. And here they come. Losing another two units, doesn't matter. And we'll take them out. There we go. Now they have also moved down there, which is nice. We will of course lose the marina team, but we don't care about that. Uh, that's just the way we want it. There are two teams remaining. Now we want to rush as far as we can with uh, the princess team, while we uh, remain with this team here. So that this team will come and get us. So, let's do that. And here they come. We will also lose the Craig team. Like that, but once again, doesn't matter. We are now on our last team, which is going to be the winning team, so we just need to get out to the enemy side, so we will move up to the to the corner here, which means we can attack the the town next. We are on turn six at the moment, it will turn to seven in just a minute. There we go. Uh, you can even wait till turn 8 to do this, but we will just do turn 7 and we're going to attack this. As you can see, it's fine. We'll take all 42 and we'll also lose 42, but it doesn't matter. It's 1 for 1. And we are safe. And uh, now we are not going to do anything. 
what we could do is to stay here and build more units actually for the boss because these are uh, buffing you but the boss is not buffed at all so we can just wait now and uh, we'll go for the boss on the ne next turn and the boss is not very hard at all so don't get stressed for that and here we go let's move up and take him out Of course, this team is not the best. <clears throat> Hopefully, you have something better to use here. And there we go. And that's stage 15. And it's time for mission 16, the great escape. So what's going to happen here? We have this army chasing us. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the uh, top team uh, to a safe position, but not too much in front. It's going to be a bait team. Then we will move the other two teams as far in front as we can, like that. And end the turn. You will see the boss there and some teleporters and the, te and the army is being baited successfully. And now we want to move just out of reach with the, the top team and we will still run forward with the other two teams like that so we're gonna do two sacrifices in this mission by the way and the army is close to us now in the top so what we're gonna do is move backwards instead so we lure the army the other way so we will buy us some time here and then we'll move up like so and end the turn and the army will indeed kill us now so rest in pieces Craig but that's fine we don't need him and now the army will be a little bit further back and uh, we're going to rush as far as we can here and ending the turn the army is giving chase again and we will simply just have to move forward and ending and now it is time to um, get a little bit closer what i'm actually going to do here is i am going to um, if i stand here you see this teleporter it's actually going to teleport me so i don't want to do that so you saw there now i uh, my second team got uh, teleported which is fine but the top one i want to grab the chest as well so that's what we're going to do now and we can either stand here but uh, then i figured we can actually stand inside the teleporter and get teleported in the same try so we just open the chest like that and uh, and will also be teleported right after, like that. And um, there is also a army in front of us that we want to check um, the tiles. And we don't want to go too far with our princess team. Uh, but we move as far as we can, of course, with the marina team. So we lure it, just not too fast. We want to get into the teleporter. There's two teleporters, by the way, as you can see. The top one will take you to the very start of everything, and that's unnecessary. And the bottom one will take us to the other chests. And also, there's a teleporter on the other side that will take you behind the boss, and that's what we're going to do. So, uh, just making sure here, and we're safe there, of course. And uh, then with the uh, army here, we can lure them. 
So let's see what happens now. Um, moving forward one, just to get that army away from the boss so the boss isn't buffed by it. And here they come. And Marina is a hero, taking one for the team. Now we are going to um, move into the teleporter, like that. And you also notice the other army that chasing us actually failed to teleport to us, which is good. So uh, now we got in there and uh, the other army is going to try to get down to us here. Uh, just grab the chest, like so, and then we'll have to end the turn uh, again. Top army is trying to reach us, but it won't do much good, and now we're behind the boss. And now we just end the turn there, and uh, well, we'll go for it. That army did actually manage to get into the teleporter, but it's way too late, so now we just have to kill the boss. Um, my team isn't the best, so I'm just going to put it on fast forward from now on and let you enjoy this fight, and um, good luck to you, and uh, see you in the next stage. And we are on mission 17, Armed Race. Unlike the previous two missions, this one is actually a little bit more interesting and elaborate. We are limited by 15 rounds. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to start by moving down and taking these two resources here. We're going to take the middle team and taking this one here. We're going to upgrade this town twice and then we will end the turn. And you will see what's up there as well. There's the, these two mines here, two chests down here. And then there's these three teams here that need to also be taken out to win the level. So. Um, we will start by moving these two up back here so we can reach the mines. We will also create some riflemen on the left, uh, or, or the middle team, sorry, to take on the left uh, camp up there. Uh, we're not going to upgrade the town more though. Now we end the turn again. And now we are going to attack already with this team here uh, as you can see we're not going to be able to take them all out but uh, uh, we will survive so it's fine we're just gonna have to tank it a little bit there and then we're gonna move this team in here and we're gonna create some more riflemen in order to take the next round against that one and we'll move this team uh, down here uh, we can't create anything sadly but we are going to level this town up twice as well and then we'll simply end the turn uh, this one uh, is going to attack my team again, but it's fine, we will survive that, so um, we will simply um, take that hit and then we will get out of there. So the princess team goes there and we'll simply leave it at that. Uh, actually no, we're not, we are going to create some soldiers, we need to do that. So. Uh, then we'll take this team here and move up and take out these guys. Uh, since we're attacking, we're also going to get the mine in the same uh, round, so that's really nice. And there we go. Then we have these guys down here. We need to create um, some tankers to take on those uh, riflemen up there, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And then we'll have to end the turn. And it's time for turn 5, and this, t this time here we're gonna move uh, this team uh, down, but uh, before we do that actually let's start with uh, these guys here, we're going to have to take on these, uh, you can see we're gonna take a little bit more than half of their HP, which is fine, we're gonna take them out on the next attacking or defending one, when it's their turn they're gonna attack and take themselves out, so that's fine. Uh, I'm also um, going to move this team, after we're done here, we're going to move these guys into the middle to take on the middle base there, uh, you will see later. So what I'm going to do is I'm already going to start moving this team uh, down here. And uh, with this team here, I'm going to just create a bunch more 
uh, soldiers. We can also upgrade the town a little bit here. We're gonna upgrade everything anyway, so gonna do that. There we go. I keep calling them soldiers. They are actually swordmen. Uh, there we go, and they take themselves out. Bye. Perfect. And there we go. Sadly, we're going to have to waste one round here and grab this, but it's not much we can do with about that. And we're going to have to move down there with the rifle team. I think the, it doesn't matter. Actually, they can swap places later. So we're just going to create a few more uh, riflemen here and uh, be done with it. And then this one here needs some more uh, soldiers, so we're just going to create more there. Now we have ten of those. That's nice. And then we'll end the turn. Now we're going to sit here until uh, until and including turn ten. And then on turn 11 we're going to start moving, so now it's time to get this team back down and we are going to um, go here and upgrade this town two times as well and create some soldiers here. And then with this team here we're going to create, uh, or upgrade sorry, to 8 as well and we'll create some more riflemen, have 20 of those now and then we can't do anything else. And there we go. Time to move the middle team in here and we're going to upgrade this town as well. We can do that uh, twice, which we're going to do because we're behind here. So the balance it out. Then with these guys we are going to create some more riflemen. And then with this uh, left one we're going to create some more swordmen of course. And there we go. Ending the turn. Just got to create as much as we can at this point. And uh, now we will go into the middle one again. We are of course upgraded already. We have 42, so that's super fine. Gonna make there. Then we have the right one. I believe at 26 uh, with that one, and we have 28 with that. So they're they're pretty well balanced too, which I like. So I'm just gonna go there and create those soldiers right there. And then with this one here, we can't upgrade, but we're gonna do it on the round after. So make an eight there. That means those two are also gonna balance out. So we're gonna have the same amounts on everything. And round 10, this is the last round we're actually going to create things on. So we'll go here and we'll create the last remaining soldiers, that's 46 of those. Riflemen, upgrading, and then we're going to create those, 46 of those as well. And on the middle team we are going to create a few more uh, tankers. That's going to be the weaker team of the two, but it's still fine. 35 of those, and there we go. Now it's time to approach the north. And moving. On the following turn, that would be turn 12, uh, we're going to grab the chests, so going to stand here and uh, if these were closed you could grab one of them, so that's what you would do, and then we'll move these here, grab the other one that's not been taken by the middle team, and uh, so yeah, the chests are taken now in theory, then we'll end the turn here, and uh, now it's time to attack. Turn 13, middle tank team can directly go here and they will take 52,000 or 52 um, of their enemy soldiers, like that. Perfect. And that was a success. Uh, with this team we're gonna have to move up uh, here and we're also gonna move like that with that one. It's a little bit of a bottleneck there thanks to those chests so can't really do much about that and we get attacked and they will take out themselves. Which is nice of course. Turn 14 now, that means we have one left, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to move this team over here to their respective sides, and we're going to move this team over here to that side. Uh, with this team we have 46, and the same thing with this one. Uh, this one has 102, and that also has 102 of course, so it's kind of balanced here. Uh, what I did here, it kind of, I don't think it matters too much, because uh, you can move in here and create some armies, uh, if you're going to make riflemen or... Um, Soldiers doesn't really matter. They are you're gonna win no matter what. So you can just upgrade this thing here, and let's let's go for some soldiers. Mm. Of course, we got rid of our tankers, but they're pretty much useless at this point. So we just make those, and uh, we'll have to end the turn. It's turn 14 now. It's gonna turn to 15. This is the very last one. Uh, so we're gonna move up here with these ones. Uh, as you can see, we'll only lose 11 here, so it's fine. Going, and there we go. They survived. And, uh, then we're going to do the same thing on this side, and as you can see, the, it's fine. 
we will take most of them out with these shots here. They're of course gonna rush us a little bit and take out many of our, our soldiers too, but it's uh, still okay. I have 10 versus 18. We are gonna win the next one. And uh, yeah, so before you say it, um, there is one round actually left, or rather the enemies will still be able to attack on round um, 18 or 15, sorry. So you saw there we cleared that one and now it's actually turn the enemy's turn it's not our turn and uh, well we can just upgrade that for the fun of it doesn't actually matter at all now we'll end the turn and now it's the enemy phase and they will attack and take themselves out and there you go well that was a close one but we made it stage clear so see you in the next round uh, stage i mean yes